Today, we attempt to retake Germany for the Ploabian Slavs, who once settled the land of modern day Eastern Germany. But our people start scattered and weak compared to the great Karlings who rule over the lost land. Also, if everybody watching this subscribed, I'd hit my goal in no time and it would mean so, so much to me. Thank you. So today, our challenge is to retake Germany for the Slavs. Now, we start out as Chieftain Ludwig right here and we're pretty weak, right? Even just all the people around us are a fair bit stronger than us mostly and our goal is going to basically be taking East Francia as if we take it from the Carlings, it gets renamed to Germany rather than East Francia. So that is our goal. Now, to do that, you know, obviously, we can't just go ahead and defeat him right now. It would be pretty crazy. So my first goal is going to be forming the kingdom of Pomerania. Now we are tribal, so building up our realm is not going to be so important. Mainly our prestige so we can build up men at arms. So I'm not going to go into stewardship. But we are going to go into diplomacy and pick up a majesty focus for that plus one per month. So then we can maintain a lot more. My favorite things about being like these tribal rulers is you can just attack without a Cassus Bella. It makes your life just, <laughs> just, just amazing. Now right now we don't even have the fame to do duchy wars so you know what we're gonna call a hunt get a hunt on the go up some of our fame 150 prestige there we need to get to distinguished so then i think we do get duchy wars so that's our first goal today let's see we have a decent amount of prestige now we have 760 so i'm gonna build up so these are light cavalry i do want some bowmen i always like to have bowmen i think they're always like the cheapest and they counter quite a lot of stuff so it's always good to just have a full stack of bowmen when you can now there are already some wars happening Happening. Hopefully, nobody gets too powerful stopping us taking Pomerania. So right now, we have 1,100 odds. So we're going to go to war with this guy and just take this county on the coast. Now, we're not going to go by sea. We're just going to walk straight over to his land and be like, gimme, gimme. Oh, he's being raided, which is great. Let them finish raiding that. And then we're going to siege it. Fantastic. There we are. And we captured him straight away. So we can enforce demands and disband that. So we've taken one county so far. I do want to wait for duchy wars for these bigger people because otherwise kind of pointless, right? Could do a county war with you as well. And you know what? I just want all the coasts for now. So that's what we're going to do. Now, I don't know what he's playing at, but he's letting us siege the war target. And if we go and defeat his armies as well. Oh. And his other counties being raided. So we are going to have to siege his last county. Oh yeah, and I thought I'd best mention in this video. I know I have been doing three videos a week for a, like two months now. Um, This is going to be my last week of three videos. I'm just going to do two a week instead. So I can try and get ahead and have like a week or two off around Christmas. Because it's my son's first birthday. So of course, I just want to kind of enjoy that. But yeah, should hopefully at least have two videos out though a week. Now what I'm hoping for is that East Francia stays together. Because if they split up into a bunch of different duchies or something, we can't just use the invade kingdom. Cassus Belli later on, which will slow us down, but I guess it could be easier that way as well as we're not fighting one massive person. But yeah, we'll have to see how that goes. Just keep an eye on it. Polania, yeah, get him quite powerful and they look like a massive claw that are just going to take Pomerania. So hopefully they just start expanding a different way, right? They're just slowly engulfing Pomerania. I don't think they've taken any of this land yet. Oh, only one bit over here. So that's not too bad. But yeah, I want to form Pomerania so we can build up like a decent power base and with that, hopefully take Germany. So we got one more level of fame before we can do duchy wars. So yeah, maybe we do just keep doing county wars for now then. Okay, actually our truce has ended with this guy. So we're going to finish taking him out. Okay, that's nice and easy this war. And hopefully our truce has ended with this guy as well. And we can just get them both out of the way. Yeah, we can. We have a claim. What claims do we have? Somehow we have a claim. I don't know where that was from. Possibly an event, I guess. There we are. We also captured him as well. So we can enforce that one as well. And we've taken out like all the weak people for this kingdom title now. It is mainly just the Dukes remaining. Now, we are two over our domain limit. Let's see, what if we were managed domains? We're only one over, so we'll probably give this one away. Oh no, smallpox was in my court. My lord, the malady is contagious. Be wary. The diseased body of a commoner, skin marred by rashes and bumps, rests upon the table. Anyone who comes into contact with the corpse risks infection, and I was planning on an outing that will take me close to that place, the holding. So she's there? Oh, wait. So I think we can send the corpse to someone. Wait, should we send it to him? Yeah, go on. Does he get the disease? We've gained a rival. Oh my god, his kid got smallpox. Oh, I do feel kind of bad. Not really, but just a little bit bad. I was hoping he might get it. And we are also hunting for the white hearts. We are getting events for that, hopefully. You know what? We'll go in prestige death to try and find it. Why not? Oh, I just realized as well that I give this
this county away when I'm still only a count. So, of course, they went independent. I do that so much. I just forget I'm still a count and then give land away. Or when I'm a duke, I might give a duchy away. I do it all the time. Maybe I'll be able to take it back. Maybe we can create the duchy title. Maybe I'll be can create a duchy. So we're going to create that for 125 gold. And now we're going to grant it away. There we are. That's what we needed to do. Oh, no. These guys, yeah, they are coming for our land. Now, our son and player here has come of age. Now, he's 16. He's not too great. We might just have to maybe find an alliance for you. Oh, that's big. Yeah, that's huge. So we're going to take that. How old is our wife? 33. So hopefully we can try and seduce, get another son. We can actually educate them properly. So that guy is not too good. I'd rather him not lead us. <sighs> Right, as you can see, we just got a secret on our son. And you may be wondering, what could that secret be? Well, if we go to the lovers tab, we can see our wife, which of course is our son's mother. Yeah, the lovers. Yeah, well, you're gone. Get out of here, you absolutely disgusting person. We're going to look for some inheritable traits and try and replace the just as disgusting son. Mm, there's quick. Yeah, you know what? We're going to marry in quick and try and get a quick son. Okay, so we do have a little bit of spare prestige. So we're going to try and upgrade these to the max. And hopefully we can support that once they're fully built. As we really need to start working on our army now. There's one still kind of easy person to fight. Then after that, there's some pretty big people we're going to go to war with. Well, and we can almost fully upgrade our light footman as well. So once that's done, we'll have three units all fully upgraded. So our army's not, it's not too bad. There we are. So after another hunt, we have passed into Illustrious. So that means we can now do the duchy wars. So we are going to start one straight away against this guy. And we basically have the full coast then at that point. You know what? We're going to raise them all right next to his capital. Raise them all and just jump on his capital and defeat his army, which is great. So once we take this, we've really got to start fighting these bigger people if we do want to form the kingdom. Now, I did want to do it in one life, although I don't know at this point if it's going to be possible now. That ended the war really quickly, which is nice. So if we check the kingdom title, we've probably got to fight you and you. Let's have a look. We need three more counties. So we could potentially maybe take a duchy off you. Take that bottom one. I think that should be three counties. And then we may be able to actually just form the kingdom that way. He is allied with some fairly powerful people. we got one ally. We also have a daughter. We can get an alliance with Sweden. Now, he doesn't really like us because hostile. Right, if we maybe start swaying him, gift him an artifact, small religious carving, try and get his opinion up of us. So if we do go for this war, he does help us potentially. And he's just making even more allies, which, yes. Right, we can divorce our wife again. What we're going to do is we're just going to marry for the strongest ally we can get. So if we marry you, that, that is you. 1,200 and he's right there. That's probably not too bad for us. So let's get that set up. And now we're going to declare war, conquer duchy and take this southern duchy right here. Hopefully all our allies join. Oh, Sweden will join. Okay, nice. All of them have agreed to come help me. So what we're going to do is Sweden's in another war. How are you? No. So we're going to march our troops away just so we don't lose a battle straight away, hopefully. Join in with these and then go back. They're going by sea now. Please just help me. Oh my god, we got consumption. Oh, if we die by this right at the end, I'm going to be so annoyed. Right, the best person we can get, she's a level three. She's renowned. So it's too late for caution. Oh, Oh my god, it worked. It was a miracle somehow. Right, we're going to march in with our allies' support now and hopefully end this. Here we are. We have defeated them. So we're going to unsiege what they did siege. And now we're going to head in for the war target. As long as our allies stay with us, we should be able to win this. Ooh, and we captured him in the siege of his capital. So we can enforce that now. Disband. And let's see, is that enough? Yes, we just need one more duchy title. Now, hopefully, we can usurp this title, but we need 250 gold. So we could could do with maybe getting another duchy title somehow. Maybe by dethroning you or going to war with uh, these right here. Oh, there's a subjugation war going on. Maybe we should try and take this duchy then before that war ends. I don't know if it's going to work. Hopefully our allies do help and we can get our duchy before they get subjugated. So let's go on and start sieging maybe and just try and be quick about this. I don't know how successful it's going to be, if at all. But I mean, we got to do what we got to do. Now, hopefully, yeah, our war ends first. We're up 30%. I'm going to to go for their cat. Oh, their army's right here. Let's defeat their army. 66%. We already have the war target. So I'm going to try and siege on their capital. See if we can maybe pick up 
a capture. And the subjugation war is on 80% though. This is going to be a close one. Please game, just let my war end first. We do have Tekken war score. Oh, I just realized they are unseaging a new opponent. Wait, what is going on? Oh, wait. So Visby, this war must have ended and now Visby is a thing. But the war is still going on for this county now. Somehow, I don't know how that has happened. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, not quite sure how that's happened. The war target has changed. Now the subjugation war is over. We are starving. I will worry about that in a second. Yeah, I'm quite confused, but we're still gaining a county, I guess. There we are. We have won that one now. It's a shame we didn't finish it before, as we would have got quite a bit more land. Oh, but now we can actually create the Duchy of Nordmark. We have some prisoners we can ransom. Let's see, we're up to 200. Another 10 there. Oh, this one's for 50. 50 there. And that's it for money. So now we can create the Duchy. So if we create Nordmark, so now we only need 250 gold to actually create the Kingdom of Pomerania. So things are going quite well. We are 52 though, so we're aging a fair bit. Ooh, okay. Surprisingly quite late, but we did just have another son. Because our other son is 37 and he's not great still. So if we live long enough, maybe we can try educate this child decently and try and make him our future heir. We'll try it, see how it goes. Ooh, actually we have 250 gold. So now we can create the Kingdom of Pomerania. So let's create that. Well, I think, yeah, we can take this guy on now. So we're going to conquer Duchy. Technically, we do need both of these. It's two different duchies for some reason, even though they're the same name. That's pretty strange. But yeah, we're going to go for this one right here. It is the one we were going to war for earlier, but of course, they ended up taking it. We'll call what allies we can, maybe. Maybe you at war? No, we'll call you. Um, You know what? We'll call everyone. And we're going to raise all. And this time, make sure we take the full duchy, because last time we sieged everywhere but this. So that kind of cost us that now. They've got a fair few troops. Our allies are on their way. I'm going to stay here and siege. That's fine. For allies can get here before they come and attack. We should win this, no problem. Okay, we are getting caught out. <laughs> Damn, uh, we locked into that movement right there. So we are going to go into a fight. If allies jump into it, come on. If they can get there in time, come on. Close, but they did get them just after. But right, we're going to go back straight in for the sieges then. We've got the decision, Defender of Rod. Foreign forces are skirting our territories like a pack of hungry wolves. If the old ways are to survive, I must win the respect of the clans. Together, we will raise a glorious hall in Perrin's honor. So a Slovakian holy site we hold gains a special build in the Hall of Heroes. And we gain Holy Warrior. Sure, why not? Defenders of Rod. Under my leadership, the clans have united to raise a great hall in Arcona. Within its thick stone walls, we prepare for war. For generations, foreign scaveners have had their eyes on our lands. Let them come, I say. Let them test their might against our brave Slovian Skun heroes. Let their blood soak into the earth and color the rivers red. So the holding of Rana, where's that? That's this up here then. Ooh, there it is. I want to see this. I've never actually seen this building before. Like, the Hall of Heroes gives us more levies, garrison, prowess, piety per night, and knight effectiveness. And we could upgrade it and get a nice 25 boost to knight effectiveness. Yeah, that could make your knights really mean. That's actually pretty cool. Never taken that decision before, so nice to see new things. Right, we control the full war target. They are sieging our capitals. So we'll march over, hopefully, with our allies, defeat them, unsiege what they've sieged of our land, and hopefully, this should be pretty close to an end. Oh, we have just picked up in Finn. So yeah, I imagine we're not going to be able to take Germany in this guy's life. But hopefully if we do enough now, we can get the right setup ready. For once inheritance does happen, maybe we can take it in the next life. There we are. We have 100% on that. So now with all that out of the way, oh, what we want to do, we can't increase. Mm. You're not strong. You know what? We'll ransom you out. 50 gold. Yeah. And your wife, 25. We have quite a few people we can ransom off. But if we look around land now, compared to the actual kingdom title, only missing like what? Is that one county? Two counties. So that is fine. And and there we have it. So now we are King Zbigniew of Pomerania. Now, imagine, yeah, our little brother did take some land. We are, yeah, we can't revoke it either. We're going to have to try. We need high crown authority to actually revoke the title. So we have kind of just lost that. We need to stop having any more children because it's going to split now. What we need to do is just get as much fame as possible. I don't know if it's even going to be possible in this guy's life. He's 47 and he's only established. Like, if we're going to do an invade kingdom, we need to like, get someone quite young that we can massively improve their fame with. It may be too late for this character, which is kind of unlucky. So we'll probably do some building in the land we still hold. Maybe some war camps, markets, and gathering halls. War camps are good because they do boost a lot of your troops and your knight effectiveness. So yeah, we'll probably just build up a little bit with this guy's life, I guess. Just see how it goes in the next one. So, the Northman army just declared war on me for the Duchy of Pomerania. We're going to call our allies. 
And we could marry off one of our sons, maybe, to get an alliance. Yeah, we're going to marry you off. We're going to find the most powerful ally we can, which is you. Yes. Now, we're going to call these to war, please. They will accept. Nice. Now, I'm not typically too worried about the Northman army, mainly because their troops are literally, what, like, full of levies, I think. So, we should be able to win this. Right, us on our own. Look, it's saying we're going to win that. We only have three stacks of men at arms, so we may not even need our other ally to come and help. Let's have a look. Yeah, right now, we're getting a plus 69 battle advantage. Uh, 30 of that is because they recently disembarked. But yeah, when I first played, the Northman army was like a nightmare to me because they were just so big. But once you kind of realize you only need a few men at arms, they're not typically too bad to deal with. And that has given us a decent chunk of prestige. So we can keep building now as well. So the sooner we die, the better. So I'm not going to bother going into whole of body this time. And succession is going all to one person now. So the sooner we die, for me the better. And we've moved into the stewardship tree. We're going to try and pick up cutting cornerstones and professional workforce and just keep building until we die. Oh, wait, what? That was very quick after I said that. But apparently we died in our sleep at 58 years of age. This is great. This is so lucky. So now we are this guy. What we're going to do, we're going to head straight down diplomacy, pick up majesty focus and try and rush to August. And we're going to constantly hold hunts, feasts to try and get to exalted among men. And once we pick that up, we can do an invade kingdom Cassus Belli. So we do need to keep improving our army as well. And the Northman army are trying it again, which is good because we should be able to defeat them. No problem. If we just camp the coast. There they are. So jump right there as soon as they land. And there we are. Just like that. We've defeated them again. And we gained 700 prestige, which has pushed us over to Distinguished and actually a decent chunk towards Illustrious. And we are we're 27. So we're not too old either. Nice. And we did manage to romance our wife, gaining us another 350. So it, we are slowly making our way towards Illustrious. We're doing all the events that we can just to try and get as much prestige as possible. Oh, so the title just changed to Bavaria, but uh, he should still have East Francia, I hope. Yeah, he still has East Francia. That's the title we need. And then it should go to Germany. So that's good. As long as he still has the title and it's still there to be taken, that's all I want. You know, it is 940 AD. We're still making our way towards Exalted Among Men. And this guy in Visby is quite weak. So we could just take this duchy and we do hold the full kingdom then. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. It should be an easy war that we can win. Now, to get the level of fame, I'm just doing a lot of romance schemes. All the hunts, feasts, the usual kind of things. And romance schemes, yeah, they're so useful. Enemies did call a whole order. Okay, that makes things a little bit more tough. Can we do the same? No. We can call some of our allies, maybe. Hopefully we can still win this. But that makes it so much harder now that's happened. We kind of need our allies to just come rush into our aid. Yeah, right now, we're just going to focus on getting the war target. Oh, you know what? There's 1,200 of them there, and they're more powerful than me. If we can defeat these, because they're quite good troops, it seems. Although, of course, they're just going to run around forever. Okay, nice. We did manage to catch them. So we are just going to, yeah, carry on with these sieges. Hopefully our allies show up pretty soon. Nice, there we are, 100%. So, enforce that one as well. So, we do have, actually, the full kingdom now. I wasn't planning on doing it, but we were just doing a lot of waiting around. And we can create another duchy, actually. So, that's really big for us. Anything at this point, like, just to get more fame. Okay, so it's now 950 AD. Our character is 55, and we just passed the next level of fame. Now, East Francia, or it was Bavaria, has split up. So, Bavaria is King Adlowin. He's 31, but East Francia, King Will Wilhelm, who's only 11. He has no allies because, of course, he has no children or anything to make alliances. And he only has 5,400 troops. We, on our own, have 8,000. Now, I'm pretty sure I've married off all my children to get alliances where I can. So they're all married off, hopefully. Yep. So we have a few allies, about another 8,000 more men we can hopefully call to our war. So if we go to invade kingdom, we want to take the kingdom of East Francia. That's going to cost us 500 prestige to start. So we're going to start the war. And we have saved up about 900 gold, mainly because I was expecting it to be a little bit tougher. Of course, things could still go wrong. He could potentially bring his holy order, which we don't have one. So I've saved some money so we can buy some nice mercenaries. So I'm just going to get the best ones we can get. The biggest problem for us is going to be the fact... That. Let me just double check. Yeah, we still don't have any siege equipment. So the sieges are going to be really, really slow for us. So we're just going to have to take our time. But hopefully we can still win this. Now we'll pick up these ones right here. The 855. So we get armored footmen, light footmen, horsemen, and a fair few levies. So we're going to hire those. We'll raise our own army right there as well. We're going to call all the allies. Hopefully they all accept. Nice. Yeah, it seems like every single one of them did want to join in. So we're just going to start the siege right over here. Right, enemies are there. If they cross the bridge. 
bridge. No, they're not crossing the bridge. They're just letting us siege the wall target. Okay, they're sieging our capital. So now we've finished sieging the three um, counties. We're going to try and stop them. If we can get there in time, just in case they get like a nice capture, that would be awful for us. So we're going to rush them all in. Hopefully catch their armies. Nice and easy wall score. We're up to 67% from that. Somehow that battle, yeah, was 50%. I imagine it's because it's like all their troops, right? So I think the more percent of their troops you actually defeat, the more war score you get. Now they have just called an ally. Who is this? That's Frisia. They only have 500 troops. So I'm not actually worried about that either. Well, there's so many counties over here. We can just start sieging them all. These other two wars are both our allies, I think. So I'm not worried about those. I'm just so happy we did manage to get the level of fame because we're, get we're getting quite old. And if we didn't do it in this life, we'd have to do the whole thing over again of just dedicating someone's life to getting fame. And actually, 100%. That was actually so much easier than I was expecting. So now, if we enforce demands, as you can see, Pomerania. And let me actually check. Where's the title? We should. No, okay. So we didn't get the title of Germany, which I was hoping we would. Maybe it's because we're already a king. But let me check. If I go to the title now, it should be called... G oh, he still has the title. How? We need 500 gold to usurp it. Now, we do have some factions starting. So we're going to try and give away... It's like a duchy title. So we'll give... We'll give you a duchy. So a grand title. And we'll give you this corner duchy over here, which is this one. And now, do we still have too many duchies? No, but we do have a lot of land. We're going to grant them away to people of our faith and culture. We do have quite a lot of prisoners we can ransom, hopefully, to get us close to that 500 gold. But now, we do have a faction. So it's quite a powerful faction. Let's check. 20,000 men they have. Yeah, a very big faction. So what we're going to have to do now is hopefully call our allies once more. Yeah, so it's, it's mostly levies and a few vassals. So what we're going to do is we're going to raise all just right in the center of them all. So say right here, we're going to raise all and try and defeat as many levies as possible. We do have a lot of allies who are also on our side and other vassals have joined our side as well. So yeah, this should be winnable as long as our troops hurry up and raise. There we are. So we're going to march in. We should be able to defeat all these. They're basically all levies, I think. Yeah, we're already up 50%. Yeah, so we can deal with this faction. No problem. Wait, somehow. Yeah, the king of Lotharingia is... Yeah, he's fighting in the uprising somehow. I, I have no idea how or why. But yeah, apparently that that is happening. We're up 50%. It seems locked. We've won a lot of battles, so we've taken out a lot of their troops. So, oh, why is it just not up to 100%? Landless attacker has no armies left. Okay, so we defeated the main uprising guy then. So that actually ended that. And now we're up to 673 gold. So what we're going to do is we're going to find him. He's Trankia. Usurp it. Now, hopefully, end of an era. The reign of the Carling dynasty has come to an end. The kingdom of East Trankia has finally slipped from their grasp. With the Carlings removed, these lands are truly no longer part of their old empire. With me as the future king, we have a new bright destiny ahead of us. It is therefore only fitting to remove any and all reminders of their influence, including the very name itself. A new era begins. The kingdom of East Francia changes its name to Germany. So we make that our primary title, as you can see. It did take a little while, it took us 87 years, but now, now the Ploabian Slavs have re taken Germany. So there we have it. Luckily, we did manage to get the fame and then do the kingdom title and defeat a pretty big uprising. So you know what? The land is ours now. And that's where I'm going to leave today's video. So thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you have any other ideas, of course, there's every video now. Please let me know what you want to see in the comments. We're going to end the video with a massive thank you to all the channel members. We have Intermio One, Angelus, Victor Voss, Anderson, and Toxic Flame. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.